should have practiced with this clicker. Let's see if I can do this. All right, there we go. Uh, the, the beginning point of discussion is I think this is really where we start to get to the meat and potatoes of our dialogue about land use and access. Uh, land use so often is a, a description of what's going on in downtown as we talk about things like density. And certainly access is a key element because downtown does not exist in isolation. We exist in a context of what's happening around us. Uh, as a beginning point, a lot of you may be reading about DDAs in the newspaper, and sometimes it's not always easy to know what that is. In the state of Michigan in the early 70s, the state created enabling legislation that allowed communities to create an economic development tool to help them to resuscitate and strengthen their downtown cores. At this point, there's probably at least 300 DDAs, and each one of them has a different development plan. As Wendy described, ours was created in, in uh, 82 with a parking emphasis to us. Uh, we have changed dramatically. We took over the parking system and it enabled us to understand more fully than we ever could have understood. What that means to run a parking system is really the beginning point of dialogue about this DDA. Uh, we had an uh, amendment to our development plan in 03. And one of the key strategies for this DDA, we have a whole chapter in our development plan about sustainability. We aspire to make our downtown the sustainable heart of a sustainable city. We are a DDA that speaks to our community ethos. Uh, part of what I'm going to talk about is how we're approaching this from several different angles. Our downtown is a very diverse place with a diversity of needs and a diversity of users. So we're approaching our sustainability strategy from a few different uh, directions. The first to talk about is land use. As a DDA, we don't have a policy making function, but instead we can use our role as an advocacy group. So in the early part of this decade, they came, the group came in very strong in support of the millages that enabled us to create the Green Belt. We're going to hear a little bit more about that. This is also a DDA that came in very strong in support of the changes that have happened in our downtown zoning that has strengthened our ability to encourage downtown residential. Uh, we began this work uh, in partnership with the city as part of a downtown residential task force. There was almost no residential growth between the, 19, uh, excuse me, the 1990 census and the 2000 census. In the last decade, we have seen a 30 percent increase in downtown. And I want to make a note, 30 percent, at the same time the city of Ann Arbor lost population and the state of Michigan lost population. We are seeing a dramatic transition in that point of connection that we just heard a little bit about. Uh, the DDA has also taken a very dramatic approach in approaching sustainability from a, a viewpoint of, of transportation. As you know, that saying that we're six square miles surrounded by reality, well, it's true. Around us are the oceans of freeway that we saw so dramatically in that photo. Uh, but more than 60, maybe 70,000 people a day come into Ann Arbor from those places. And so we've got to come up with a strategy in a downtown-based organization to try to find ways to get them out of their vehicles. Uh, some of the ideas that we've come up with and are pursuing, for instance, you've heard about the increased service between Ypsilanti and Ann Arbor. A strong number of our downtown workers live in Ypsilanti and work in Ann Arbor. Finding ways to work in partnership with the city and ATA and the university is one of the elements we're working on. Express bus service, explorations for the Wally, which was a uh, passenger rail service that we hope one day to see between Howell and uh, Ann Arbor. And we've also been exploring a connector study that I know Eli is going to talk a little bit more about. Another thing that's important is within that framework, about six square miles, when we began our work with transportation, our bus system had relatively few riders of choice. This was a ridership of last uh, resort. What we've been doing is working in partnership with ATA and the city to develop a Get Downtown program that provides information to downtown employees about the array of options available to them. Uh, as you can see in some of this, uh, this matrix, we have made dramatic increase in the last uh, decade in shifting people out of their cars, driving alone to go to work, using transportation choices like bicycling and public transit. Uh, some of the other things to point out is the DDA is funding the Go Pass. You may have heard of that. It's a free bus pass. We're up to 7,500 downtown employees using this bus pass to get to work. We're also approaching it from a perspective that that's not enough. Zip cars are something that the DDA is subsidizing downtown to enable people to make choices. Come to work and then there's a car that can take you to a meeting if you need to get there. Uh, bike parking, grants. We know at least at this point 33 percent of our employees downtown are not bringing a car to downtown. Uh, parking once and that walkability of downtown is one of our great strengths. When you see topiaries with flying, leaping uh, stags that are actually greenery, there's a reason for it. 
We want you walking to the library. We want you to see that, talk about it, and tell your friend you saw that and the eggplant growing there. Maybe then that will give you a reason to leave your car behind and walk throughout downtown. Uh, we've been supportive of a number of construction uh, projects downtown that have striven to be above and beyond, uh, working to create the kind of construction uh, center where people are thinking about LEED certification, such as our new municipal center. Uh, this is the DDA that gave a grant to our city, so we were the first nation in the United States, excuse me, the first city in the United States that had LED streetlights. This was an important change in everyone's view about Ann Arbor. Put us on the map. Uh, we are right now in the midst of an energy saving grant program process where we've provided about 120 free energy audits in the downtown. And we know that the visibility of downtown is one of Ann Arbor's greatest uh, uh, tools. We have the visibility, so we have opportunities to communicate what we believe as a community. So when you see things like that surface lot that's across the street from you and it is detaining all of the stormwater, we put a sign up so that we all understand why this is important. It's part of what's important about what we do is as a community we pat ourselves on the back. We use a variety of approaches and we believe that it's working in partnership that we're getting the most done. Um, and finally, understanding that the eyes are on downtown, we have a chance to be creative, try pilot projects, and if we're successful, find a way to build on them and maybe grow new projects. Thank you.